Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to look at remaking this uh, base that I made for the, the Watt table saw. It's not fit for purpose anymore, and it's not of the quality that I should be making now that I'm hopefully getting better at what I do. So um, I'm going to try and reuse as much of this as I can, but I'm not sure. But I got some 2x4s that will replace most of this frame anyway. So stay with me, and we'll see how it turns out in the end. Then, and I'll just make it fresh. That's a good idea. Okay, so here I am alone. I thought that this bit 12 mm ply would have been big enough to cover the whole top, um, because that's how big I want the car to be. That's not big enough, which is very frustrating, and I haven't got any cut, and I don't really want to have to break down an entire sheet just for the top of this. So now, do I use MDF, or do I use cut a whole sheet down. I don't know. I guess you'll know my decision in a minute. I nearly forgot to put the right bit back. I've been told off for that before in videos. So this is actually the similar way that I built the stair under the stairs cupboard. Now I know this probably isn't the right method, but this is a method that works for me because I know I'm going to keep it square because the board's square. Now the theory now is hopefully that square and no twists. Look at that, perfect. So effectively, I just got to make another one of those now. I wish I wrote down the measurements. So the problem that I've got is I had this one left over from when I originally started to build my workbench. This was a lot longer, so I cut it down to a roughly reasonable height. Problem is, I thought I measured these ones really well, but apparently I didn't. So I now have to attempt to make them all the same height, and as you can see, they're not. So I don't quite know how I'm going to do this yet. I'll hopefully figure it out in a minute. Um, we'll see. Stay with me. Okay, clamps didn't work. So let's try masking tape instead. 
So I haven't got a lot to take off. I mean, I could try and run through a fan saw. It might work. It all depends whether it stays together though, doesn't it? That's going to be the interesting one. Wow. I wouldn't exactly say that was flush at the bottom, but let's hit it and find out. Oh, I've done it on the wrong end. Fully expecting this to wobble when I put it down. Hey, that's not too bad. It's big, but that's all right. Now, 20 stone weight. So that's what, 120 odd kilograms, maybe more. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So all I've got to do is now find um, a bit of ply to cover this section to give me another shelf underneath. And then I can attach this underneath and uh, it'll be ready to put it together. And then that, pretty much it nearly finished. Now again, I know this looks silly, but um, I'm just going to find a bit that fits there. Scrap wood, that's what it's there for, isn't it? So once again, my scrap wood pile has failed me, and the only one I've got is this. I don't know whether it's whether I want it. I have hardly any 12 mil scrap pile. This is not scrap. I know you can see it. This is not scrap. This is for a project. So I can't break that up. And all I've got is full sheets that are also rubbish. Let's try and make this one work, shall we? So, just so you've got some context, this one is going to go. Yeah, that, there we go. Somewhere like that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Let's see how this one looks. <sighs> yeah, good enough for me. So, yeah. Done. Now where the hell do I put it? And there you go, all finished. Uh, perfectly stable, no rubble, no rock. You know, you can't really argue with that too much. It's given me a lot of space underneath in order to store some more tools. I've got stuff on the shelving behind me here which I really need to find a place for, especially the slightly bigger ones. That will give me more space, storage space as well. So this is just what I wanted, nice and secure, much better than the last one that I built. This is going to be part of a larger project, so I am going to be building a full workbench after this, uh, which will incorporate some more space on the side here and to the end so I can use it as an outfeed table and also a construction table for when I build frames and things like that. It turned out a lot nicer than I thought and quite a fairly quick build as well. So uh, if you want to see more, catch you in the next video and if not, I'll see you later guys. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching that video. If you want to check out more, I've got a playlist for you here and if you want to watch my latest video, it's just down there and then you can find out what happened to my last Instagram account. I do have a new one, so my Facebook, my Instagram and my Twitter are all in the middle of you here and then don't forget to hit that subscribe orb and the notification bell in order to follow up on what I do. Thank you very much for watching again and I'll see you on the next one.